Hello, I am Space Ghost. Today I will be demonstrating how to create a data set and train your own models. You need to have an audio editor of some kind. BGTO 1089 uses Sony Vegas, for example. Let us see an on-screen demonstration of how to do this. Let's use Moltar as an example. Another important note to remember, there cannot be sound effects or music in the background. You will have to find a way to remove the music. Sound effects are more annoying that way, much harder to separate. Sorak, would you stop that? I am trying to teach my audience on how to create their own deep fake voice models. Oh, I'm not gonna stop you. Are you going to give me a hard time? Whatever, just having fun. Back to what I was saying. Now, the important part. Each audio needs to be between 2 and 10 seconds. Anything lower than 2 seconds runs the high chance of being overtrained. Over 10 seconds runs the risk of being undertrained. And will need to be trained longer. Well, that's my safe zone anyway. Don't you mean safe space? You can train up to 12 seconds per clip. But I wouldn't encourage that. Next up, when the clip is to be rendered, keep the properties at 22,050 kHz. The clips need to be in the WAV audio file. It will also have to be mono as well. Never go wrong with mono e mono. Once you have your clips ready, you will have to do the most annoying part. In the video description, I will link the base template of the text file. You will have to transcribe all of the audio clips that you have made. Remember to name your voice clips as it is shown in the template or you will spend more time changing each file name in the text document. There are easier ways to do this without your fingers turning blue. But because I am a superhero, I will share with you a secret. Just as there is text-to-speech, there is also speech-to-text. It can help you with transcribing your audio. There are many call labs out there and other programs that can help. I will tell you one. Buy BM Watson. Check out the website and the free demo they have. Remember, it's only a tool. It will never be 100% correct. So you still have to correct mistakes that is on the text file. Ten years later, after the long boring activity of completing your transcription to 100% accuracy, Space Ghost resumes his tutorial. So, Copy, what are these rumors? I've been hearing of you returning as the superhero known as Spider-Man. I even heard that there was high-quality pictures of you. Let's hope J. Jonna pays them a buttload of cash. No, I um. don't. I am not involved. Those pictures and clips of me are fake. I see. Gotta have a secret identity. That is understandable. But what about our viewers at home that think you are lying? Well, to them I have to say. I missed the part where that's my problem. Rudeness will not be tolerated here, Toppy. Spider-Man or not. <laughs> You're finally done with transcripting the audio clips. That is good. Now remember, the ideal total length of audio should be 30 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes could work if the audio is great, but anything less than 7 minutes and the results would mostly tend to be awful. Anyway, in our next visit, we shall go over how to make a model. So that day is not today. Hope this tutorial helped you.